Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a real-time microservice example with the shopping cart project. So uh, here we have a blank solution that is the name is real-time app microservice and in this project we have two folders and you can say that two directory that one is the microservice and the other one is the UI project. Okay. So uh, that is the real-time application scratch project in uh, using microservice architecture in ASP.NET Core C Sharp. So the first project is the microservices where your all microservices uh, all together uh, like the product.api, like uh, cart.api and uh, like uh, order.api and uh, if you have some coupons like uh, Amazon coupons uh, you can say that. So uh, that next uh, API project is the coupon.api. So these are the microservices and we will use in the latter uh, videos but in this video tutorial just I am going to about uh, show you product API as well as the product related data like the categories okay <coughs> so the next one is the UI project so here we have a UI project that is the shopping cart dot UI and uh, in this video tutorial just I am going to use a uh, razor pages for your uh, to show the um, whole projects so uh, this is the web uh, web project uh, which is built in model view controller so here we have the ui projects so uh, in this solution here we have two directories microservice and the ui project so first of all just i am going to show you first api project so just add a new api uh, in your solution that name is product.api and the first part in the api project that is uh, the entities so just go for the entities, the first entities that is the product and you know that here we have a product related data that is ID, title, description, price, image URL and category ID that is the you can say that a product have a uh, single category, uh, a product have uh, multiple categories uh, so uh, you can say that inside in the multiple categories so uh, product data is included in the category ID. So a category have you can say that a category have multiple products okay so like the electronic category and like the health category so a health category have multiple products so this is the uh, you can say that uh, relationship between the product and the category table so here we have a id and that is the key and automatically increment by the identity so this is the product uh, entity and the next one is the category table and you can say that uh, here we have a public class category with the public int id title okay so the next uh, for the uh, that is the entity similar you can design dto for the entity that is the category dto so that is the similar with the uh, model class and the next one is the product dto that is similar with the model class there we have uh, id title description price image url and the category id and also have another class that is the response DTO and the response DTO have uh, some four properties that is like is success that is boolean, errors that is the list of string type, result that is the object type because I don't know uh, what result uh, becomes uh, after the executing the query. So here we have to take object type so string and the messages. So everything is okay uh, according to DTO now the next is the data part the data context class is inherited with the DB context and you know that uh, DB context is actually existing in the Microsoft dot entity framework core so install that package Microsoft entity framework core and here we have a constructor that is initialized in the uh, class and inside it you have to add two products that is products and categories now the next part is uh, data is everything is clear, DTO is clear, entity is clear. The next one is the mapper class. So here we have a model converter and I am going to use a, uh, I am going to use mapper instead of imapper. So here we have a manually uh, converted class. So the DTO to model, I mean to say that uh, product uh, DTO is converted into the product table. So here we have a view model to model and each one entities is one by one to map mapped between the id title price description image url so here we have model 2 dto also 
that is the vice versa okay and here we have dt2 model for the category and uh, model to dt for the category so here we have four uh, mappers uh, methods okay so mapper is clear the next one is the services so uh, here we have uh, that is the service so i uh, here we have a i product service and in, in which we have the get all product get by id product uh, create update product async and the delete product async so here we have get all products with the product dto class and uh, get product by id that is the product dto and create update product async by the also uh, uh, create a product dto and here we have a delete product async with the boolean types so just next go for the implementation detail of the product dto that is the product service in the product service class uh, here i'm using the product db context class by using the db context class you could just access all these uh, things from the database table and also uh, with the communicate so here we have a create update uh, product uh, async so just uh, coming from uh, just uh, take as a um, product dto as a parameter so if the product dto uh, first to convert into the model that is the product if the product id is greater than 0 then go for the update and otherwise you just go for the add now after that you have to make some changes in the context class and after just convert this product class into the again model to dto so dto product and just return to dto projects so create update is clear for the product now the next one is the delete product async with their id property and just return the boolean type so first of all get the product by their id property by using first or default async if product is null then return false otherwise to uh, so context or product dot remove products and make some changes in the context okay so the ne uh, next one is the delete product is clear the next one is get all products so here we have just use context dot products dot select just i want to convert that uh, product class is the uh, you can say that uh, uh, DTO class by using the select operator. So product dot model converter dot model to DTO product, and just convert uh, that class and also return the list with the products. So here we have two list uh, return products. Now the next one is the get product by ID. So by using this context dot products dot select products model to DTO, and this is the final result. So here we have a get product by ID, get all products, get delete product async, and create product async is there. Now the next one is uh, the categories. So I category service is the similar with the product uh, services. So here we have also the four methods that is get all categories, get category by ID, create update category async and delete category async. That, that is the similar with the products. So the next one is to implementation of category services. So here we have uh, product uh, DB context. The next one is create update category async. So by using the uh, first of all that is the similar with the product you can say that uh, you can see that is create update category async the next one is uh, delete category async that is the code that is similar with the product deep, uh, and services and get uh, all categories looking like uh, products and uh, category by id so everything is clear now the next one is to uh, do for the controller so here we have a controller that is product controller and product controller is class is inherited with the control base class i mean to say that this is the base class and route is the api and the client controller and here we have a i product service and the response dto so here we have a product a controller i product service product service underscore product service and the response that is the dto okay now the first one is the get so just when i using that path of the route api slash controller that uh, action method will be returned that is the response because uh, just i want to get all products by using product service dot get all products and you know that uh, that is written enumerable type of product dto so here we have a product dto and that uh, product dto is passed to the response dot result because result is a uh, object type so just you can say that uh, return the response and if you want to just return response dot object uh, because if it is uh, not there that is the con uh, response dot is success response dot error so just return the response okay 
and just next go for the uh, get id so uh, the url is api slash products controller uh, and so you can say that products and slash five and one that is associated with the id so just return the product service dot get product by id that is one and uh, return the result in the response uh, underscore dot result and here we have a catch response dot is success false response dot error the list of uh, error dot message and return the response so get service is clear and the next one is the post action method and the post and the put uh, is uh, similar because uh, but in the verb is different that is http put and the http post http post is uh, have a parameter in the from body uh, attribute that is a product edit you with the product uh, parameter so just so just a product service dot create update product async just pass to the product and return you know that the product dto so response dot result is the in the form of product dto just pass it and response dot is success and the error message is given in according to this and the product put is the similar like the http post so here we have code and the next one is the delete uh, method so is success await product service dot get delete product async so update the um, bool and just return to the result so here we have and you know that uh, the product controller is look uh, it's you know that category controller is uh, similar with the product controller so here we have four uh, get uh, get post and the uh, put and the delete the whole code are similar with the products so just replace the category name with uh, just replace the product name with the category so here we have a code you can say with the, of the category so there is okay now just go for uh, to create a account on the azure and that is the storage account on azure okay uh, to storing uh, the images of the product so here we have a entity and you know that uh, here we have a product images so just i want to add images in that uh, by you just picking the url from the storage azure storage blob blob storage account or blob storage from the azure so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching for the next video of the product api microservice and i will uh, just discuss about uh, the next in the ui projects okay so thank you very much